So just quickly now to finish, I'll just have a look at the uh, cognitive movement control tests, um, all written out uh, in our book, Kinetic Control, the Management of Uncontrolled Movement. So what we ask a person to do is to coordinate movement at one particular joint. So we control movement in one joint in, in one plane. And we ask the question, can you control movement at that motion segment? And it illustrates whether we've got a choice in movement coordination strategies. And as I said, there's a, there's a lot of support for the reliability of these tests. So we can identify changes in our movement coordination strategies, and it will um, illustrate that we've got compromised movement health. So here's just one example of a test. We put the scapula in a neutral position and we ask our patient to lift their arm up to 90 degrees and take it down to the side. Now, of course, this is not a functional movement. We never ask anybody to move like this, this way in everyday life. But what we're saying is, do you have the ability when we ask you to, to keep your scapula still, stop it dropping down into downward rotation and move the arm? And the answer is yes or no, you can or you can't. So we put the scapula in a good position there, in a nice neutral position, get it out of the downward rotated position, and then we get our subject to move their arm up and down. And in this photo here, you can see the red circle. I'm holding a pencil, and this girl has just taken her arm down to the side, and you can see how the acromion has dropped away from the pencil, which illustrates that she's failing the test, and her scapula is moving into downward rotation. So she's changed her movement coordination strategies and she's not able to control the scapula going into downward rotation. So we can um, describe that as a loss movement choice into the scapula into downward rotation. So what we can do then once we found that is we can restore the movement choices and help our patient improve their movement health and ultimately quality of life.